Zimbabwean billionaire Stride Masiwa has stunned Africa's business and infrastructure circles by revealing plans to build a breathtaking multi-billion dollar, 300-hectare solar-powered industrial park in Zimbabwe, a project so ambitious it signals not just confidence in one country, but faith in Africa's industrial future itself. Set to rise near the Robert Mugabe International Airport in Harare, the vast development will be anchored by a 100-megawatt solar energy plant and a large-scale data center, combining clean power, digital infrastructure, and world-class logistics in one carefully designed ecosystem. At a time when many investors remain cautious about long-term projects on the continent, Masiwa's vision raises a provocative question. Is Zimbabwe on the brink of hosting one of Africa's most transformative private sector developments since independence? At its core, this project revolves around the idea of an industrial park, a concept that has powered the rapid rise of manufacturing hubs across Asia, Europe, and parts of the Middle East. An industrial park is far more than a cluster of factories. It is a purpose-built zone where land, power, water, digital connectivity, and transport links are pre-installed, allowing businesses to move in quickly and focus on production rather than infrastructure headaches. In Masiwa's case, the vision is even bolder. The park is designed to serve manufacturers, processors, and export-oriented companies that need reliable electricity, fast data, and seamless access to global markets. Why struggle with unreliable grids and fragmented logistics when power, connectivity, and cargo routes can be bundled into a single low-risk location? That is the bet being placed here. The thinking behind the project is strikingly strategic. By delivering service land backed by renewable energy and digital infrastructure, the industrial park aims to slash startup costs and shorten decision timelines for investors who might otherwise hesitate. Instead of spending years negotiating power supply, water access, and fiber connections, companies would arrive to find the essentials already in place. Akinet's leadership has indicated that the goal is to remove friction from investment and make Zimbabwe instantly competitive for export-driven industries. In a global economy where speed often determines success, could this one development tilt the balance in Zimbabwe's favor? Technically, the park is designed as a modern industrial and logistics hub whose location is no accident. Sitting close to Robert Mugabe International Airport, it leverages immediate access to air cargo routes, a critical advantage for businesses involved in high-value manufacturing, light assembly, perishables, or time-sensitive exports. Proximity to an international airport means goods can move from factory floor to global markets in hours rather than days, reducing costs and boosting competitiveness. The scale of the land alone is staggering. At 300 hectares, the park covers roughly three square kilometers. To put that into perspective, Manchester City's Etihad Stadium could fit into this industrial park nearly 100 times. Imagine dozens upon dozens of Etihad-sized spaces laid side by side, not for sport, but for factories, logistics centers, data halls, and energy infrastructure. How many jobs, innovations, and supply chains could such a space unlock? Design-wise, the park is expected to feature carefully zoned industrial plots, internal road networks, water and power systems, digital connectivity, logistics facilities, and a central data center that anchors its technology ambitions. The 100-megawatt solar plant will be deployed in phases, scaling up as demand from tenants grows, ensuring energy supply keeps pace with industrial activity. The integration of renewable power is particularly significant in a region where energy shortages have historically constrained growth. By tying industrial expansion directly to solar generation, the project attempts to decouple manufacturing from the volatility of traditional power grids. Could this model redefine how African industrial zones are built in the age of climate pressure and energy insecurity? The key stakeholder behind the project is Econet Infraco, the newly unveiled infrastructure arm of Strive Masiwa's Econet Group. Infraco is responsible for building and managing the physical backbone of the development, 
from power systems and fiber networks to data facilities. Although it was formally introduced to the market in December 2025, the unit itself is not new. It has long operated internally, quietly managing towers, fiber, power, and data infrastructure that underpin Iconet's services. Its public spin-out signals a strategic shift, positioning infrastructure not as a support function, but as a standalone growth engine. Why? Because demand for power-backed digital and industrial infrastructure across Africa is exploding. At the center of it all stands Stride Masiwa himself, one of Africa's most influential and wealthy entrepreneurs. With an estimated net worth running into billions of dollars, Masiwa built his fortune through telecommunications, founding Econet Wireless Zimbabwe, now the country's largest mobile network operator, and expanding into broadband, fintech, and digital services. His business empire spans telecoms, technology, energy, and now infrastructure, with a growing emphasis on data and artificial intelligence. Through Casava Technologies, Masiwa is investing $720 million to build five AI factories across South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, Egypt, and Morocco, using advanced NVIDIA GPUs to give Africa sovereign AI infrastructure and reduce reliance on foreign providers. The industrial park fits squarely into this strategy, sitting at the intersection of energy, data, and manufacturing. Is this the blueprint for Africa's next phase of industrialization? While no official cost figures have been disclosed, developments of this scale rarely come cheap. World-class industrial parks with integrated power, logistics, and data facilities typically run into the hundreds of millions of dollars and often beyond. Given the size, location, and ambition of this project, it is widely expected to fall within that range. Funding is likely to come from a mix of Econet Group resources, private capital, and possibly development finance aligned with renewable energy and industrialization goals. Construction is planned in phases, allowing capital deployment to match demand, and work on the first phase has already begun. Although the project remains subject to regulatory and planning approvals, this phased approach raises another question. Could this incremental model make mega infrastructure projects less risky and more replicable across Africa. The potential impact on Zimbabwe is profound. If executed as planned, the industrial park could become a magnet for foreign and domestic investment, creating thousands of jobs directly and many more indirectly through supply chains. Reliable power and export-ready infrastructure could revive manufacturing, boost value-added processing, and strengthen the country's export base. The presence of a major data center also positions Zimbabwe within the digital economy, supporting cloud services, fintech, and AI-driven industries. Beyond economics, the project sends a powerful signal of confidence at a time when such signals matter deeply. What happens when belief in a country's future is expressed not in words, but in concrete, steel, and solar panels? In the end, this is more than an industrial park. It is the statement. By committing to a solar-powered, airport-linked, data-enabled industrial hub, Strive Masiwa is demonstrating what visionary African capital can achieve when it targets long-term value rather than short-term returns. It invites a larger reflection. If more African billionaires channeled their resources into bold, innovative infrastructure projects of this kind, how quickly could the continent's development trajectory accelerate? Zimbabwe's planned industrial park may soon offer a compelling answer, standing as both a physical landmark and a symbol of what is possible when ambition meets execution. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Strive Masiwa's 300-hectare solar-powered industrial park in Zimbabwe? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the new Africa Wealth and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.